Hey good people, let's learn how to play Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. So, now that you've heard it, let's learn how to do it! So, this melody was written by Tchaikovsky, so it's a classical tune, and I've pretty much stuck close to the main melody, but I've added and arranged it in such a way that it kind of makes sense as a fiddle tune. So, well, let's just dive into it. You may want to start by playing this scale. That would be, for those of you keeping score at home, that's B Aeolian, and it's one, two, three on A, A one, two, three, open E, one, low two, three, four. All right, and then you could do it with some extra notes added that would really prepare you for the tune, some chromatic notes. So do one, low two, two, three, raise third, So if you've studied the chromatic scale, that'll help you a lot with this. I'll, on the lesson page, the Fiddlehead lesson page, I'll put a link to some chromatic scales and exercises. So anyway, that's your warm up for this. You could do that with a B drum. So now I'm going to play the entire first quarter. It's a four bar part, a little longer, but it made most sense to do it this way. Then I'll break it down. I'll break it down even further, starting E low two to open E. Just talk it through a little bit. E low two to open E. That's landing on E one. And now we're gonna do raise third, and then to either open E or fourth finger. Or I like fourth finger there. It either works. Fiddle players are more apt to use uh, open strings than classical players. Classical players are a little bit more allergic to the open strings and prefer, prefer fourth finger. So then anyway, this much we have. And then A2, A low two, and then A1, E, low two, E, one. I'll do that last bit. So here's the whole thing very slow. All right, now let's try that whole first quarter with a play along track. One, two, three, four.
So I recommend you really learn that first quarter because the third quarter is the exact same thing. So you, if you, you'll know half this melody of the A part. The B part is a lot easier, I think. There's a lot less to learn. So you're really well on your way if you get that one part. So now I'm just gonna play through the, the next part. I'll break it down, some finger charts. So it's going to start this whole second quarter on D313. And landing on 2, then we're going to go to A low 2 1. So we have. And then we're going to jump up to E low 2. Reverse hoe down, short, short, long. I should have said this earlier, but that this rhythm is used throughout the tune. Short, short, long. I refer to it as reverse hoe down. And then one, open. So we have. And then we end this phrase with something tricky, a raised third to E1. If you feel more comfortable, you could use low four there. I use raise third myself. Is that a whole phrase? All right, that's the whole second quarter. Third quarter is the same as the first. I'll review it for you. That was just to get it in your ear. You would, I recommend you play it very slowly or the good medium tempo. Now I'll do the fourth quarter. And I'll break that down. So we're gonna have a phrase that repeats three times but goes down a step each time. So the first step is and that's E, A2, E, raise third. Okay. By the way, I've got sheet music, tabs, and play along tracks for this on the site if you get stuck and need extra help. And then um, the next step is the same melodic idea, but we're starting on A3. Three, one, three, two, and then starting on A low two. Let's do those three steps. Sorry. One more time. Let me do it again. Three, four, one, two. And then the last part is a little tricky rhythmically. One, two, one and two, one and two, one and two. And that's raised third, one, four, raised third on A, E1, four, open E, one and two, one and two. Okay, so now I'm going to do this whole quarter, quarter a little bit more slowly. And you have the whole thing. All right, all right. So now, now, now let's move on to the B part. I'm going to do. I'm just going to play the whole first phrase for you and then break it down. Here we go. Okay, so 
gonna start A1. One, two, raise third, open E. One, low two, open E, raise third. Again. So if you get this, you pretty much have the whole A part. And then the next time, we'll just do a slightly different ending. We're going to go for the second quarter. Ending on E4 instead. And then we just cycle those two parts again, all right? So when I did it, played in the beginning though, I did a little variation. I started with this. So what that is, is instead of just playing two notes, two eighth notes, I'm doing four sixteenth notes. So you can take or leave that variation and, and take or leave the whole version. Remember, this is a slightly altered version from the original. So take it with a grain of salt, trying to turn it into kind of a fun fiddle tune. And to close the lesson, I'm just going to mention a few other little things you could do that I did in the beginning. Um, so the rhythm of, of this, the, let's go back to the A part, one and two and so the melody will, will, will start on beat two. Same with the second quarter. One, two, and. But a kind of nice, kind of almost old time thing you can do is to anticipate the note. So like, so one, two, three, four, one. So I'm coming in, instead of on the two, I'm coming in on the and of one. One, and. Listen to the difference. Here's the here's the normal way, the basic way. One, one, two, three, four, and the the variation. One, two, one. Okay. So anyway, so if I were to do that anticipation thing in the tune, it sound like. And then you can kind of add an extra fiddle flavor to it by sliding into it. I'll slow that down. Another kind of cool thing you could do for this part, slide from A3, slide your three down to where the two would be. Two. Just play around with sliding in your own way there. Um, this sounds good with sliding too. You slide the one. I just play, I, I think that just in general you can slide different notes and that's the general thing that I think would work with this tune. I don't really, I might have to transpose it to come up with double stops for you know, I'll have to think about that, but I don't, it's a little trickier to get a, a cool double stop thing out of this. So just in closing, I would, I would play with slides, play with uh, the rhythms for this, this, the B part. You could do sixteenths, or you could almost do hoedowns, like. Like a fast hoedown. Just do it what feels natural to you. And by the way, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy New Year, Happy April Fool's Day when it happens. All right, thanks for watching this lesson. It's been fun and have a great new year. Bye.
Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching the video blogging. Excellent! And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.